And I have to tell you, you know, Obamacare is really, I think, the worst thing that has happened in this nation since slavery. And it is, in a way, it is slavery, in a way, because, because it is making all of us subservient to the government. And it was never about health care. It was about control. Here's where history. most people would take issue, because they would say that Jim Crow is pretty bad, that World War II is pretty bad, that v Vietnam was pretty bad, that D-Day was pretty bad, that Iraq was pretty bad, um, that you know, Japanese in internment camps were pretty bad. All these things were terrible, and they have happened since slavery. And you say Obamacare is worse than all of those things? I do say that, yes. All of those things are bad, but those do not fundamentally change the United States. How can you compare a health care program to the brutal oppression and abuse of black people in this country? Okay, I can tell you very easily. First of all, if you listen carefully to what I said, I said it's the worst thing since slavery. Now, there are those who will say he said it's equivalent to slavery who probably don't understand how the English language works. And it is, in a way, it is slavery, in a way, because... Now, there are those who will say he said it's equivalent to slavery who probably don't understand how the English language works. And it is, in a way, it is slavery, in a way, because... Now, there are those who will say he said it's equivalent to slavery who probably don't understand how the English language works. What if somebody has an unwanted pregnancy? Should they have the right to terminate it? No. Think about this. Uh, during slavery, and I know that's one of those words you're not supposed to say, but I'm saying it. During slavery, a lot of the slave owners thought that they had the right to do whatever they wanted to that slave. Anything that they chose to do. And, uh, you know, what if the abolitionist had said, you know, I don't believe in slavery. I think it's wrong. But you guys do whatever you want to do. Where would we be? Definitively, do you want to see Roe v. Wade overturned? Ultimately, I would love to see it overturned. And that means all abortions illegal, or is there still an exception that you would have? I'm a reasonable person, and if people can uh, come up with a reasonable uh, explanation of why they would like to kill a baby, I'll listen. Life and health of the mother? Uh, again, that's an extraordinarily rare situation. Uh, but if in that very rare situation it occurred, I believe there's room to discuss that. Rape and incest? Uh, rape and incest, I would not be in favor of killing a baby because the baby came about in that way. And all you have to do is go and look up the many stories of people who have led very useful uh, lives who were the result of rape or incest. German citizens were disarmed by their government in the late 1930s, and by the mid-1940s, Hitler's regime had mercilessly slaughtered six million Jews and numerous others whom they considered inferior. Through a combination of removing guns and disseminating deceitful propaganda, the Nazis were able to carry out their evil intentions with relatively little resistance. So what is the, what is the point you're trying to make if, if there had been guns Germany, my, there might not have been a Holocaust. My, my point is... And what's your response to the uh, director of the Anti-Defamation League who says your comments about guns and the Holocaust are historically inaccurate? Uh, which comments about the Holocaust? The ones where you said are, are perhaps, you the, perhaps the violence could have been lessened, the Holocaust could have been lessened if the Jewish population had more guns. And there's obviously no problem criticizing the United States government uh, saying all that stuff. But to make the comparison, Dr. Carson, to Nazi Germany the slaughter of six million Jews by the, by the Nazis, uh, the devastation that erupted in Europe and around the world to the United States of America. I, I want you to you know, reflect on what that potentially means. Well, again, you are just focusing on the words Nazi Germany and completely missing the point of what is being said. And, and that's the problem right now. That's what PCism is all about. You may not say this word, regardless of what your point is, because if you say that word, uh, you know, I go into a tizzy. 
we can do better than that. You know, when I was a child and when you were a child, they used to say, sticks and stones break my bones. Words will never hurt me. Whatever happened to that? We need to get to the point where we can look beyond the word and look for the meaning. Do you believe that uh, Islam is consistent with the Constitution? Uh, no, I don't. I do not. So I, I would not advocate that we put a Muslim in charge of this nation. I absolutely would not agree with that. Let's talk about the interview and what you said specifically about a Muslim president. Do you stand by the comments? Uh, absolutely, I stand by the comments. You know, what we have to do is we have to recognize that this is America and we have a constitution. And uh, we do not put people in, uh, at the leadership of our country uh, whose faith might uh, interfere with them carrying out the duties of the Constitution. Uh, I actually have something I would use the Department of Education to do. Would it be pack boxes for the State Department? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the IRS? No, it would be to monitor our institutions of higher education f for extreme political bias and deny federal mm. funding if it exists.